Hey guys, today I'm going to be bringing you part 7 of the uh, Tegi build. It's the auto to manual swap. I'm still working on the wiring. Um, I'm just going to wire up the clutch switch for the uh, ignition. So there's two wires, two heavy gauge wires. If you just splice them together, you can start the car, but you can start it without the clutch in. In order to start the car with the clutch in, the safety switch, you need to wire those two heavy gauge wires to the clutch safety switch. So I'm gonna kinda of go over that today and show you how to do it. Here's all my supplies right here. Two different colors of 18 gauge automotive wiring. You can pick these up at any automotive shop. Um, I have a lighter to heat shrink my butt connectors. So this, this little plastic rubbery stuff, you just heat it up with uh, a heat gun or fire or something and they'll shrink tight, make a good fit. I have some zip ties to zip tie my wires up safely away from my pedals. And then I've got a wire stripper and crimper. So let's get to it. So you're going to need to remove your center console, all this stuff in here. And you're gonna be revealed this automatic shifter plug. If you haven't already cut it off the automatic uh, shifter, do so. Make sure to leave these wires and this plug so you can unplug it easily. Um, the two wires we're gonna be locating are these two at the bottom, this black and red and uh, black and white. As you can see, it's much thicker or heavier gauge wire than all these other wires. One way to wire up your car so it starts is to just splice these two together like I have it. My car starts, runs, drives, everything, but basically the car thinks it's in park forever. So the only problem with this is if you have cruise control, you can't turn your cruise control on because the car thinks it's in park, or um, you may accidentally start your car in gear and go through a building or something nearby. Um, which would not be good. So it's best to wire this up to your clutch safety switch. Okay, so I got the butt connectors all connected up onto this heavy gauge wiring. Make sure you get the right size butt connectors. Um, this was 14 to 16 gauge connector. Um, so I believe it was 14 gauge wire. It wouldn't hurt to go a little bit bigger. It was a snug fit, but um, yeah. So 14 to 16 gauge butt connectors. Now let's extend the wires onto here. So I got uh, some wires connected onto the thick heavy gauge wire to extend them. Now I'm gonna go underneath the dash to where the clutch pedal is and wire up the switch. Okay, so we are now underneath the dash looking at the clutch pedal assembly. Um, here you can see the whole assembly. The master cylinder is right here and um, if you have a cruise control switch, it would be right here. And this guy right up here is the ignition uh, switch, the clutch safety switch. So um, it's yellow and it's got two little prongs coming off of it. I'll show you what connectors you need, um, but you got to run wires off of that. I would recommend running the wires off this clutch switch before you put it in uh, before you put the whole assembly in during your auto to manual swap because it will be very hard to either put it in afterwards or you will have to remove the assembly and uh, put the wires in and then put the assembly back in so I already have these two black wires run off of it I installed these um, prior to installing my clutch pedal so it was a lot easier so I'm just gonna hook up I'm going to take these, these two black wires on the left here, you can see them right there. I'm going to take those two and I'm going to hook them up to the two wires that I ran from the uh, auto harness. Alright, so under the dash once again, here are the two black wires I ran from the clutch pedal switch. And there is the black and yellow wire I ran from the uh, auto shifter harness. Um, so I'm just gonna heat shrink these up real quick and then test it out and see if it works Okay, got it all done moment of truth now um, clutch pedal not pressed in Won't start press the clutch pedal in
So there we go. If you guys found it at all helpful, uh, wiring your ignition switch up for your clutch pedal, um, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.